Looks like I'm wearing a chip bag, low key. Wait, what's on these? <laughs> yeah, yeah, these dog British shoes. Oh, wait, they're yeah, straight from your foot. I was like, yo, these are kind of warm. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna design and 3D print a pair of shoes from scratch and then wear them to the world's largest sneaker convention to get people's reactions. So the first step is designing a pair of sneakers that are wearable and somewhat decent looking. And so I got sketching. So my plan for this shoe is to create a clog style sneaker with a separate insole. All of the parts of the shoe have to be 3D printed to sort of fit within this challenge. And of course, like all of my other 3D printed shoes, I'm going to be printing these shoes and all of their parts in TPU, which is thermoplastic polyurethane. TPU is essentially a soft plastic, which means it's a perfect material to 3D print shoes with. And as you guys know, if you've seen some of my previous 3D printed shoe videos, like the Braille skateboarding video, it's actually a very durable material and can even be skateboarded in, which blew my mind. But here it is. This is the design that I came up with. Now I'm going to send it to my CAD modeler to create a 3D printable file. Several days later. And now that we've got that, let's print it. And we're off. Let's do it. Two days and eight hours to go. 23 hours in. Actually, 23 and a half hours, and it's going great. The support material is looking a little bit shaky, but other than that, it's coming out great. So we are 46 hours in and we're looking good. The support material seems to have figured itself out, which is good. There is some tread on the bottom of the shoe, so I'm a little concerned how that's gonna do. Oh, and before I forget, if you wanna grab any of the 3D printers that I used in today's video, I've made sure to leave links to them through the YouTube shopping tab, which is on your screen. So we're at 50 hours, or almost 51 hours. It's almost done. It's actually coming out really nice. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that it looks like there's this interesting sort of um, checkerboard pattern on the top of the uh, on the top surface, and I think that's because of the infill and the way that the infill was done. It's not as noticeable on the other shoe, but it's still there for sure. And actually, it's a little bit different. I think it's because this shoe is angled slightly differently than this shoe. But either way, I don't hate it. It's actually kind of a nice touch. And overall, I mean, the shoe itself is pretty wild looking. I think it's gonna be the least uh, noticeable detail. But hopefully, we're done soon. I mean, we're very close to the top. All right, here we go. Yo, these actually look really sick. I'm so stoked on that. Here we go, let's see how easy this is, if it's easy. It's really stuck on there. I'll just pull up the whole plate. Look at that. So peeling the first one off wasn't actually that bad, so I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna switch the filament to a green, because I'm gonna go for like an eagle screen, even though I'm a Ravens fan. Thank you very I'm much. A fan, and uh... We are going to SneakerCon Philly, so I wanna do a green for the insole of the shoe. Wow, this feels super soft. Ooh, the traction looks good too. And I'm happy to report that the support material is coming off very easily, which doesn't always happen, which is also great for the traction pattern. And the reason I've printed it vertically, like I was saying earlier, is because I was hoping that the traction pattern would stay intact. Actually seeing it with the texture on the toe, I'm not a huge fan of that. Kinda of takes away from the smooth, wavy aesthetic of the shoe, but man, it came out great. And now we got two, that is so crazy. Are they the right size? They're a little big. I did make them big on purpose because I've had problems in the past where the shoe is too small. I might double sock it, I'm not sure. But either way, these are crazy. And also I'm realizing that if I want to print two insoles, I may do one in red just because I only have one spool of green. I don't know how long the insoles are gonna take. Probably not that long, but just so I don't get screwed and run out of time. So, quick update. I've been having a lot of issues with these insoles for some reason. I don't know why. I was gonna print both. Actually, I tried printing both. One here, one there. Like I originally said, but that didn't work, so I tried to print both on this printer, which is usually better overall and more consistent. However, when I woke up this morning, it had basically twisted the filament around something, and now the gear won't drive the filament through the, the uh, extruder. So I don't know exactly what's going on with that. So I decided to just print them both on this. However, the print quality on this one, for some reason, is garbage today. Way worse than it was on the shoe, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on. It's getting really close to running out of time, so I'm gonna need to have something. So I guess I'm just gonna go with whatever this prints out. And uh, just in case, I'm printing the second insole on this guy right over here, the um, Ender 3 Pro, I think is what it's called, or Smart Pro, because I just don't have any other options. Worst case scenario, I'll have one blue, one green, if this guy prints, but I don't know, man, I'm getting nervous. Well, I gotta be honest, that didn't turn out great. But hey, you know what? It might be wearable. And uh, the other one's looking good, so that's good, uh, I guess. So we are here at the Apothecary office to try these guys on, finally. Somehow, I've had the uh, the self-control to not try these on, even though I've wanted to for the last couple days, and they've been printed out for the last couple days, just not the insoles, so uh, I'm excited. But these didn't finish until this morning, so now we're gonna throw these in really quick and try them on and see how they fit. I love the way these shoes actually look, and I think the green insole looks awesome. The other shoe has a blue insole, because I only had one printer with green, so there's that. But before we try these guys on, let me tell you guys about the socks that I've got on feet to try these sneakers on, because we all know that the socks 
Take the shoes. The socks that I'm rocking today are the brand new Apothecary Mid Essential Socks, which aren't available at the time of launching this video, but by the time you're watching this video, they probably are available, so I'll leave a link right there in the top of the description. If you're watching this video right when it goes live, they'll be available this upcoming Friday. But you guys have been asking for months about getting Mid Essentials, and we finally were able to give them to you, so I'm super excited about that. But today I've got the white mids on, which look incredible in my opinion. Now let's throw these guys on and see how they fit. Like I mentioned earlier, I did print them large so that there was more room for my foot to actually get in there because I've tried printing shoes in my size before and it always turns out being smaller than I would like. On this version, I had the CAD designer actually widen the ankle opening because I wanted to make it easier to get my foot into the shoe. A lot of times when I wear 3D printed shoes for a couple days, I find that the ankle opening is too thin and it rubs against the sides of my ankle. So we widened these. Let's throw these guys on really quick. Let's see how they feel. Ooh. The sizing actually feels right with the insole. They look big though. <laughs> they look giant. You know what? I don't hate these. The left shoe feels way better because there's not holes in the bottom of the, of the insole on the left shoe. The green one that I was showing you earlier has like a bunch of holes in it because it didn't print right. But these actually feel, they don't feel bad. I'm actually really impressed. Wow, that's crazy. There is still a little bit of rubbing right here. It's not too bad, and I think it's because they don't fit perfectly. If I maybe double sock it tomorrow for sneaker con, that might solve that problem. But honestly, I actually like it. They feel good. They feel way better than the Braille skate shoes. If you guys haven't checked out that video, make sure to check it out. Link at the top of the screen. Kind of like a trampoline, too. This is something I could actually wear all day. I'm being serious. This is something I could legitimately wear all day. What do you think? How do you feel about them? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like the slouchy look. Oh, thanks. So uh, I guess now let's rock them to sneaker con and see what people think. What do you think of these new 3D printed shoes? Adrian, one tip. Oh, the insole's full. What is that? So that is a, actually a messed up insole. The oh, other one's- texture. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to have texture. Oh. So you know what it looks like? It looks like that um, Nike grind. You know how like- Yeah, yeah, Nike, yeah, 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 yeah. Like the, the repurposed <laughs> yeah. soles. This is way better than your other, like your last sneaker con shoe. This looks better than the one that we're sitting over there. Oh, the fire ones? Yeah. I agree. Event. It's time to throw these guys on. I'm a little bit nervous because every time I wear 3D printed shoes to an event like this, they end up hurting really bad and I have to switch back to my regular shoes. Heels are slipping a little bit, but other than that, not too bad. Let's do it. This is crazy, bro. Not so good for the rain. It looks better than the red boot, though. Do you have any name ideas? Black Vader. Yeah, these are crazy, I can man. see that. That's yeah, these dark Vader shoes. What do you think about these 3D printed shoes? They're a lot better than the first ones you made, that's for sure. It's not a, it looks real bad with jeans. I think it's the, it's the thing. <laughs> They're all right. I give it like a four out of 10. Good, bad, anything Ooh. you want about these 3D printed shoes. Material is interesting. How long did it take you to print this? About three days. Ugh, I don't know about that now. Oh man, I'll have to say I'm a little surprised the way they feel. Yeah, these are 3D printed. They don't feel this well. I thought this was gonna be like a hard like shoe. Oh. So shout out to Liz for working in the booth and being part of a pop game, but I want to get your opinion on these 3D printed shoes. They look good, I like them. Thank Any you so taller much. size. <laughs> hey folks. Whoa. Feels like I'm wearing a chip bag, low key. Keep it a stack 50. Yeah. You wear it with some cargoes that like cover over like like them joints or a pants that's gonna come over. You can rock! Oh um, nice. Let's go. Right. Damn. What's the honest thoughts? They type tight. Wait, what size are these? <laughs> Alright, so, do you know what time it is? 306. So I've been wearing these since about 10 o'clock in the morning and they're, they're killing me. Like it's really, really hurting like around the ankle area. The insole's fine. Like the insole actually feels okay, but it's, it's the ankle that is killing me. I might actually switch to my regular shoes because I gotta be on my feet for like another like four or five hours and I don't know if I can handle it. You mean you're good? Bad feedback, whatever you got on these guys. I like how you made it shiny. I think that's very unique. I feel like more support than last time. <laughs> so I'm a big dude, so they don't feel as if like solid as you would want, but I just like them in the effort, bro. You're killing it, man. Like, I'm What are your thoughts on their shoes? I kind of like them. They're kind of dope, I'm not going to lie. A little bit of a, of a Yeezy, right? So I like the first one you did. Definitely cop if you release it, honestly. I appreciate These are dope. It. I like the little waves here. First off, they look a bit funky. Once you take a closer look at them, they're amazing. 3D print them yourself, yep. impressively so. It's different. You know, and I like different. You know, it always stands out to me, and I think it's a dope shoe. 
the Everglades. <laughs> Pretty sick, actually. They, I like the like the texture of them, and I feel like just a little splash of color. I feel like that adds a lot to it. I like the lightweight feel of them too. It feels like they're like, what's the material on these? Uh, TPU. My honest opinion, these fire. I like. Them. They're a lot lighter than I thought they were gonna be. The material feels pretty cool. Are they comfortable? They're all right. They're all right. So I've been wearing these since about 10 o'clock in the morning, and they're they're killing me. Like it's really really hurting, like around the ankle area. The insole is fine. Like the insole actually feels okay, but it's it's the ankle that is killing me. I might actually switch to my regular shoes. I'm not saying this is a failure. These worked fine, but uh, not not that fine. Honest thoughts, good and bad, on these 3D printed shoes. Honest thoughts. I like the design, honestly. Oh, it's very lightweight, though. Is this a um a 3D imprinted sole? Yeah. You're going to something with that. That's going to be the game changer right here. So weird. Looks like it could be like an old lunar line insole there. <laughs> Gives me like some, you know, B-grade lunar line. Maybe a little bit of trash bag exterior, but uh, I'd rock it. It looked pretty weird to me. It just kind of looks like it's duct tape, but it still looks pretty cool. I'm surprised how cushiony the insole is. How do they feel on feet? A little big. Yeah, yeah. they look huge. These are sweet. I honestly think they're sweet. Well, I like the sheen of them too. They're nice, bro. It's out on the bottom. It's an insole. It's a 3D printed insole. That's fire, dude. I like that. This is insane, bro. Like, the feeling is, is mad different. They're lighter. Yo, I feel like I can style these too. Like, I like to get fly, so. It looks like the pants are part of the shoes, because it's like, sure. like, that's dope. I actually really dig that. You made this? <laughs> yeah, man. That's fire, bro. I made the switch to the Air Jordan 185. As much as I love the 3D printed shoes, and as cool as I think that they are, I can't do it anymore, I had to switch. And we're back, and overall, I'm not gonna lie, these actually worked out really well. Yes, it's a couple days after the event, and yes, my feet are still kind of bruised, but other than that, they actually lasted really, really well. In fact, the bottom of the shoe is almost still perfect. There's some dust on it, but like there's no wear on it, really. The shoe somehow survived like a 10 hour event, which is crazy, and while my feet took some damage, that's a lot of damage. My feet were in nowhere near as much pain as I was in the original 3D printed shoe video, which honestly did give me blisters. No, that's a lot of damage. And they lasted for a couple weeks. This one just gave me a bruise. I mean, your shoe shouldn't give you bruises, but hey, it's made of plastic, so. But that pretty much wraps up the video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to let me know your thoughts on this shoe in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all in the next one.